Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn the definition of continuity of a function at a point. And we will try to understand the continuity of a function at a point with the four examples graphically so that you can understand this definition very clearly. First, we will learn definition of continuity of a function at a point. You see how we check continuity at a point of the function. A function f of x is said to be continuous at x equal to a. A function f of x is said to be continuous at x equal to a. If limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a. If limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a, then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a. It is little difficult to understand. In class 1 of continuity, I did a video on limit of a function. That is very very important to understand this class. Okay, when we say function is continuous at x equal to a, if limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a, then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a. Same thing we will try to understand with examples. You see this example number 1. You observe the graph. What you say about this function? Is it is continuous or discontinuous? How we will say? You observe the graph. You observe the graph. There is no gap in its graph. There is no gap in its graph. So we say that function is continuous function. But how we relate this definition to this function here? That is the important point. See here, what is the main important point in this definition? Limit. Limit x approaches to a f of x. This must and should exist. Limit extends to a f of x must and should exist. If this exists, then we can check that that value and f of a value both are same or not. If both values are same, then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a. Here, what I want to say, what I want to discuss, limit extends to a f of x exist. What it mean? The same concept we discussed in first class. Limit extends to a f of x exist. What it mean? It means that when x approaches to a, please try to understand, when x approaches to a from left and right, please observe. x approaches to a means what? x approaches to a means all x values are very very nearer to a. Some x values are less than a. Some x values are greater than a. But x value is not equal to a. Please try to understand x approaches to a, x approaches to a means all x values are in the neighborhood of a, but x is not equal to a in this case, x approaches to a. For example, train is approaching to the station. What it mean? Train is approaching to the station. What it mean? Train is very very nearer to that station. It doesn't mean that train is at the station. Same way, x approaches to a means what? x approaches to a means all x values are very very nearer to a but not but x is not equal to a okay here what it exist means it exist means when x approaches to a from left and right function is also approaches to particular value see you observe here when x approaches to a from left function is approaches to this value that value is f of a you observe here x approaches to a from right function is approaches to f of a so, in this case, we say that limit exists. This we clearly discussed in first class. I will give that class link in the cards. You can find that video. Okay. So, limit extends to a f of x exists means in the neighborhood of a, the graph of the function is continuous. There is no gap in its graph in the neighborhood of a except at x equal to a. Please try to understand. Finding the limit of a function is nothing but observing the behavior of the function, observing the tendency of the function. This we discussed more clearly in class 1. Without fail, you please watch class 1 video to understand this. Limit extends to a, f of x exist means in the neighborhood of a, in its graph, there is no gap except at x equal to a. So, here you can observe that as x approaches to a, function is approaches to f of a only. Please try to understand. So, here limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a. So, we say that function is continuous at the point x equal to a. We will try to understand this more clearly with example 2. You please watch this video till the end to get more clarity about continuity of a function at x equal to a. You observe. 
at x equal to a you observe here behavior of the graph you observe in the neighborhood of a in the neighborhood of a as x approaches to a from left as x approaches to a from left function is approaches to 1 correct or not so left hand limit is 1 here as x approaches to a from right as x approaches to a from right where the function is approaching function is approaching to 2 that means right hand limit is 2 so you try to understand here limit concept is compulsory limit extends to a f of x exist what it mean when we say this exist when x approaches to a from left and right function is also approaches to same particular value then we say limit exist but what happened here when x approaches to a from left function is approaches to 1 when x approaches to a from right function is approaching to 2 that means here left hand limit left hand limit exist left hand limit is what 1 right hand limit exist what is right hand limit right hand limit is 2 but these two are not equal so when left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit we say that limit extends to a f of x does not exist so limit extends to a f of x does not exist means how we will check this see limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a if this holds good then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a what you got about this we got that this information does not exist limit extends to a f of x does not exist when this value does not exist how you will check that this value this value are equal we cannot check that's why we say that in example 2 f of x is discontinuous f of x is discontinuous where it is discontinuous at x equal to a in this first graph in this first graph what we say limit extends to f of x equal to f of a na. so we say that f of x is continuous at x equal to a so we'll try to understand this more clearly with two more examples please watch this video till the end to understand continuity of a function at a point you observe this example this is very good example to understand continuity of function at x equal to a you see here limit extends to a f of x exist or not uh, as x approaches to a from left function is approaches to a particular value yes function is approaches to a particular value suppose we take it as one function is approaches to one very good x approaches to a from right function is approaches to a particular value yes function is approaches to a particular value it tells you that as x approaches to a from left and right function is also approaches to a particular value that particular value is one so what we say here limit extends to a f of x exist limit extends to a f of x exist what to check now we need to check that limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a or not we are checking that limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a or not okay this exists okay this exists what we got as per this graph we got that this function value is 1 okay what is f of a you observe here at x equal to a function is not defined there is a gap please try to understand at x equal to a function is not defined limit exists but this is not equal to f of a why because f of a is not defined this is not defined even though if they defined its value is 2 when x equal to a function is 2 if they written like this if they written like this f of a is 2 that means what happened limit extends to a f of x is not equal to f of a this, so that we say that function is discontinuous at x equal to a see by seeing the graph we can easily say that this function is continuous or discontinuous clearly this is discontinuous or not yes clearly this is discontinuous at x equal to a but what i am trying to explain how this definition is related to this function okay so when we say function is continuous at x equal to a if limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a here you observe limit extends to a f of x exist f of a defined f of a is what f of a is 2 but these two are not equal limit exist but this f of a and this are not equal so what we say we say that f of x is discontinuous at x equal to a okay now you observe this graph 
is this graph is continuous or discontinuous here actually there is a gap in its graph so we say that function is discontinuous now what we are trying to understand how this definition is related to this graph y equal to f of x we are checking continuity of the function at x equal to 0 checking continuity of the function at x equal to 0 is nothing but checking the graph in the neighborhood of 0 so first thing what we need to verify we need to verify that limit x approaches to 0 f of x exists or does not exist x approaches to 0 from left x approaches to 0 means all x values are very very nearer to 0 some x values are less than 0 some x values are greater than 0 but x is not equal to 0 so x approaches to 0 from left you observe that function is approaches to minus infinity this function is approaching to minus infinity so left hand limit is minus infinity when x approaches to 0 from right x approaches to 0 from right function is approaches to plus infinity that means what left hand limit is minus infinity right hand limit is plus infinity are they equal they are not equal that means limit extends to 0 f of x exists no limit extends to 0 f of x exists no limit extends to 0 f of x does not exist why because left hand limit is not equal to right hand limit here understanding the concept of limit of a function is very very important so limit extends to 0 f of x does not exist so how we will check what actually when we say function is continuous at x equal to 0 limit extends to 0 f of x equal to f of 0 then we say that function is continuous at x equal to 0 here what happened this limit does not exist does not exist when this does not exist how we will check that this and f of 0 are equal or not we cannot check this we cannot check this are equal or not so in such case what we say that we say that f of x is discontinuous function is discontinuous at x equal to 0 see finally what i want to say when we say function is continuous at x equal to a when we say function is continuous at x equal to a if limit extends to a f of x equal to f of a then we say that function is continuous at x equal to a i hope you understand this class if you like this video please share it with your friends if you are not yet subscribed to my youtube channel subscribe now thanks for watching have a great day bye bye